of mathematics in today's video we are going to do a levels paper 3 modulus function and we are going to deal with absolute function and inequality so let's quickly get to the question uh, the only trouble this sort of question creates for students is that generally this topic is really easy but whenever they start to introduce uh, alphabets like constants in terms of a b or c students will try uh, students will tend to get confused with this so i wanted to address this question so that you do not get confused in your exams if you have seen this video beforehand. So let's start. Whenever we have modulus on both sides of the equation and we have an inequality actually, what we do is we, we tend to put squares on both sides. So let's square both sides and modulus function will go away. So we're going to replace modulus function with whole squares. So 2 squared would be 4, and this will become x minus 2a whole squared. Now we're going to expand all of this expression and bring everything to one side to make it a quadratic inequality. So this will become x squared, uh, I'm sorry, this would be a. x squared plus 6ax plus 9a squared should be greater than 4 times x squared minus 4ax plus 4a squared. So this is our final expansion. Let's expand it further. So this will become x squared plus 6ax plus 9a squared is greater than 4x squared minus, uh, sorry, this would be minus 16ax, be careful about addition and subtraction errors, plus 16a squared. Now for the next step, we're going to bring everything to the right hand side. We're going to write 3x squared uh, minus 22ax and plus 7a squared. Now this is a quadratic inequality now. And if you have gone a little bit rusty on quadratic inequalities, I have a paper 1 quadratics video in which the last portion is to solve uh, to how to solve a quadratic inequalities. So you might want to go and watch that video if you are a little bit rusty on this topic. So let's start with this. To solve a quadratic inequality, we're going to factorize it first, then we're going to sketch, color, and then solve it for the inequality. So I'm going to write this inequality first like this, 3x squared minus 22ax plus 7a squared should be less than zero. All I have done is I've flipped this inequality and written it in this order. Now I'm going to factorize the left-hand side, 3x squared, so 3 times 7 is 21, and we know that 21 and 1 is 22. So minus 1ax minus 21ax plus 7a squared is less than 0. So over here, x times 3x minus a minus 7a times 3x minus a. That would be less than 0. So x minus 7a and 3x minus a should be less than 0. So we have factorized this. Now let's have a sketch for this. Uh, we are going to have two x-intercepts. This is going to be 7a. This is a over 3. It's a smiley shape graph because x squared is positive. So I'm going to draw a graph which is positive quadratic curve. So this is 7a and this is a over 3. Now, since this expression is less than zero, I'm going to color the region below the x-axis. So this is the required region of the curve that we need. And the inequality for this required region would be that x is between a of 1, 3 and 7, 8. So this is our final answer for the inequality. In this question, it's not anything difficult if you know the topic. The only thing that was different was that instead of just having numbers in our calculations apart from x, we had a constant a, and you did not have to worry about it because it will factorize just similar to any other constant that we use. You just have to be steady and use the same method. I hope you would have liked this video. If you did, please do share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or queries regarding this question, do leave us a comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Alafas.